Welcome back to Chalk It Up Sports. Make sure you guys smash that like button. It really helps the content grow, and I really appreciate all the love and support you guys always give. Now, I want to talk to you guys about your Philadelphia Eagles and the fact that they've suffered their first loss against the Washington Commanders. Now, we're a couple days removed from the situation. And look, you guys, I understand the national media is going to pretend like the sky is falling. I understand that the national media is going to make you think that your Philadelphia Eagles have fallen off a cliff. Well, they haven't. That's just not the reality. We've had a eight-game sample size of your Philadelphia Eagles showing dominance to the opposition. We have an eight-game sample size that tells us exactly who this Philadelphia Eagles team is and what they could be. Now, should we be concerned about the run defense? Absolutely. Because I've been telling people on Jacob Sports, I've been telling people all over the place, I've been telling people that we have a we have a stretch coming up, and it's begun. Where we're going, we're, where we're going to be going up against, or the Philadelphia Eagles rather, are going to be going up against some tough, hard nosed running backs. They already went up against Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson. Brian Robinson made those guys look like boys, even though the team, the, the Washington Commanders, only averaged about three yards a carry. They ran the ball a lot, and it allowed them to remain on schedule, keeping them in third and short constantly throughout that game. But next up, they have the Indianapolis Colts going up against Jonathan Taylor and those boys. And that's not going to be an easy matchup. Jonathan Taylor is a top five running back in this NFL. When healthy, he's probably top two, top three. Last year, he led, he led the league in rushing and rushing touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. So Jonathan Taylor is the real deal. And then following that, you know, you're going to have to deal with uh, Aaron Jones from the Grand Bay Packers, um, Saquon Barkley from the Giants. Um Derrick Henry from the Titans. This is a gauntlet where uh, the Eagles are the Eagles are about to go through when it comes to this running game. And I have my concerns. I'm not gonna lie. I'm concerned about the running the, the running game, the run defense. We 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 we, we lost Avante Maddox in pass coverage. We lost um, we lost Jordan Davis uh, in terms of run defense. And now it looks like Jonathan Gannon doesn't really know what he wants to do. We've seen two weeks in a row, eight quarters in a row, the Texans game and the Commanders game, where the Philadelphia Eagles did not have an answer for the running game. Demian Pierce went off against us. We allowed Brian Robinson to go off against us in some way. So. Jonathan Gannon has to make an adjustment. You can't just rely on the five-man front where you don't have the personnel to maintain what Jordan Davis gave you. You just can't pretend like you have that. I think what you have to do is you have to add an, another linebacker in the rotation. Put Nicobe Dean on the field or whoever you feel like is the best in run defense. And I'm not saying you got to have Nicobe Dean out there for 40%, 50% of the snaps. But what I am saying is have him out there in clear-cut run situations and then roll the dice. Look, you got top tier safeties and corners out there. You got Darius Slay, James Bradbury, uh, CJ Gardner Johnson, and Marcus Epps. You got to let those guys play man to man. You got to let those guys utilize their ability. You're going to have to lean on this front seven heavily to stop this run game because you know the Washington Commanders and the Houston Texans have given out the blueprint. It's two weeks in a row where the Eagles have failed in run defense. The blueprint is out there maintain time of possession on the Eagles, run the ball down their throat, and shorten the game. It's just that simple. That's exactly what the Washington Commanders did. We we had no chance because the, the offense had no opportunity to be on the field. So that's just that's just the reality. But regardless, the blueprint is out there for the Philadelphia Eagles. But I don't want you guys to panic. Don't panic. I don't expect Jonathan Gannon to just change his philosophy, but I do expect him to make an adjustment. I think he should make an adjustment. I think he'll be a fool not to make an adjustment at this point in the season. You're clearly exposed. You have a clear weakness, and these teams that you're going up against are going to take advantage of it. The, the Green Bay Packers are running more than they pass. The Tennessee Titans are running more than they pass. The, the New York Giants are running more than they pass. Jonathan Gannon, you have to wake up. There comes a point where you have to deviate from what you're used to. And get creative on the defensive side of the ball. And we haven't seen that. But again, I don't want you guys to panic because this team is still 8-1. and one. They're still the number one team in the NFL in terms of record. They still lead the NFC East. So there's a lot that still needs to play out. There's, still, there's a lot that this, Philadelphia Eagles team, that, that this Philadelphia Eagles team needs to go through before anyone is down and not on them or before anyone gives up. And I'll leave it at that, you guys. Make sure you smash that like button. I really appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Chalk It Up Sports, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got charges to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry.